drive so young. But this guy, you know, there are a lot of 19, 20 year olds, 16, 18 year olds that are mature, mature enough to handle. But not everybody is. See, a good parent wants to make sure that you don't hurt anybody or yourself. Isn't that right? And the Lord's like that. So that's why all of the blessings and power and everything else are is not just released upon your life when you're first born again. You need to grow spiritually. You need to grow. Jesus grew spiritually, was strengthened, and the Bible says he became strong in the spirit, and we need to as well. Listen to 2 Corinthians 4 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. So our spirit is not like our flesh. Our flesh is decayed. We're aging. But the spirit doesn't age or decay. It's born of incorruptible seed. But it does need to be renewed. It needs to be strengthened to grow day by day. Now, just like you need physical food to grow physically, you need spiritual food to grow spiritually. You can't grow strong in the spirit by eating physical food, or mental food, intellectual food, entertainment food. You have to eat spiritual food. Spiritual food. So much. where do I get that? Do I go down and get some Purina spiritual cow? <laughs> well, no, the spiritual food is the Word of God. Listen to what Jesus said in John 6, 63. He said, it is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. The words that I speak to you, listen, are spirit. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. So your spirit is something spiritual, and the word of God is 